You must you... not play with fire, Lucky. With the rabbit's help, Lily had returned into a trance. At first glance, everything had seemed unfamiliar and strange. Completely alone, she cowered inside a cold cave that was illuminated by the giant, suspicious eye of Mother Superior. So there really wasn't much difference to reality. <laughs> Gosh, that eye is making me, giving me the willy squidges. Damn. Lily would lose this staring contest. Oh, no doubt. Um. Okay, a curtain and a cord. Well, we may have a solution there. I'm going to use the... Okay, we did that. We haven't looked at that. We haven't... We have a club! Lily... Well, we knew Lily's head was a interesting place. I just... Oh, I don't have a... It doesn't tell me anything about it. It was a wooden club, like Lily had heard about in stories about the Stone Age, trolls, and baseball players. <laughs> okay. Ah, with human growth, they're pretty much... Wasn't that trolls and baseball players? It was a players? wooden club, like Lily had heard about in stories about the Stone Age, yeah, trolls, yeah. and baseball players. Yeah, with human growth, that's all about one and the same. I don't... Well, crap. I can't go into the gallery. Maybe because Mother is watching me. Well, I, I don't think we have any options here. Ow! The gas! My eye's burning! Who was that? The dust from the curtain. No, nope, can't do it. I'm thinking dust from... I assume we still can't do it. That wasn't a get-out-of-jail-free, was it? I'm thinking dust and curtains and uh, Lily's chores. Did we lose Edna's map somehow? Mother Superior closed <gasps> her tearing eye. Lily well. could move unobserved for now. Okay, but okay, but everything's still the same here. Okay, where are oh oh that's right we're <gasps> my eyes burning Okay so we're in Lily's mind, and it's Harvey. Hey, Harvey! Lily could hardly believe her eyes. A real cylinder. Right on top of the head of the talking snowman. A cylinder, huh? Well, we have firewood, but I think our inventory is down to, uh, and I still don't know what happened to Edna's map. Lily could hardly believe oh, okay. a real right on top. All right, is there? That's the mother superior. I guess I should use the space bar like I got a brain. Oh, Lily that's the other eyes. They were easy to count, but mother superior had forbidden it because it ruined her appetite. Okay. What else is? Oh, the huge eye. Lily would lose this staring contest. Yeah, we've been there. Ribs. Lily had enough ribs. Oh, we they were that. easy okay. to count, but Mother Superior... Either bone collectors were hunting oh, big okay. animals here, here, or someone had started making a prehistoric loom. Alright. Well, I guess... Lily we... didn't want to seem picky, but... that this was hardly the right place for a snowman. Oh, out of fire? No! I... 
gracious, I'm so wrapped up in the game it did not even. What a fool! Ha! Ah. Lily so, could hardly believe that's her the eyes. Cylinder, right? A real yeah. right on top of that. Yeah. What a about real the cylinder. Lily was astounded. Lily's kind of easy to st astound. Okay, I'm kind of getting nothing. Shoot, I don't know if I checked all the way at the. Whoa! What the hell are you? After dealing with the curtain, oh, Mother Superior's Mother Superior eyes. had apparently taken her contact lenses out. Strange. In the real world, Mother Superior wore glasses. <laughs> but in the real world, Mother Superior wasn't 50 feet tall either. So it was probably fine. Uh, so can we pick you up? Uh, of course we can. We're not dealing with the real world. Um, well, back to the gallery. Oh, do you know that they actually didn't do all that stick thing and, and rubbing sticks against wood to make fires. A lot of uh, old trappers and what you call it guys uh, carried uh, uh, damn it, magnifying lenses around with them. But what we're going to do with it is are we going to just hear the Mother Superior After thing After dealing again? with the curtain, Mother Superior yeah. strange. Okay. But in the real world, Mother Superior wasn't 50 feet tall either. So it was probably fine. So what we need is a light source and well he's got wooden ears but I don't I don't okay. Alright, well maybe we could well I'm sure the firewood's there for a reason. What the hell am I doing with this lens? I don't see another option. Well, what the... No, nothing. Lily didn't need a visual aid to see <laughs> that this was hardly the right place for a snowman. <laughs> and, Lily didn't need a visual yeah, aid that okay. this was hardly the right place for a snowman. What about the old cylinder? Even without a magnifying glass, it was apparent that this snowman oh, was no quite doubt. stylish. Oh, no doubt. He is definitely stylish. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's that strange smell? Uh, it doesn't smell like carrots, that's for sure. That's... That's... Fire! Oh, I'm burning! Take off my hat! Take it off! That's your tush in the toaster, buddy. Lily wasn't quite sure. Oh. She wasn't actually allowed to play with fire. Now do something, Lily. Take off my hat. I can't. Take it off. I can't. You gotta melt, you rotten. Thanks, oh, Lily. he told me you to. You saved me. Now you see the damage that fire can do. It's best not to touch it. <gasps> Lily was a little contrite. Apparently, the snowman hadn't learned anything. Oh! I didn't think... <laughs> oh, I didn't think that would work! Lily uh. had put out the fire, just like the snowman had told her to. Hopefully, he now realized that there were quite appropriate situations where one could play with fire. <gasps> I, are we coming out of it? Oh, I love that! That's just glorious. I want the t-shirt. Damn! If anybody finds that, I'll have to Google it myself. I'm just too lazy. Congratulations! <gasps> Lily has acquired a new skill. She can now get around the ban on playing with fire. All she has to do is cancel it in her new Don'ts menu by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Keep this option in mind. 
Throughout the game, Lily will learn to bypass many other restraints using this technique. But keep in mind that only one band can be revoked at a time. So, can I click on any restriction? Oh. Well, we have to have the... Oh! I can't do it here. Holy crap. That was... Oh! Well, oh, all, all of them. Son of a bee, Swacker. I guess they're still wrapped up in their adult crap. Oh, so do I have my torch in my inventory again? Oh, that's what... Oh, my subconscious has a different <laughs> inventory. So I have the torch. Alright, so we need to do this restriction. I hope. Oh, I guess it's already done. I thought you... Uh, hell, maybe I accidentally clicked on it. What What the hell? How do I know? <laughs> okay, let me do a quick uh, space bar check. Yeah, okay, so we need to... Uh, oh, shoot, is it in my hand still? Lily! One of us has With to With the help attention. of the torch, Lily could finally inspect the mysterious bracket. What a surprise! <laughs> it was a torch bracket, but there was still no trace of the promised secret passage. There had to be a secret passage there somewhere. It was true! Oh! A secret passage! Garrett was well, right that was pretty once obvious. again. Yeah. Through the door! Down the Lily, rabbit hole! You did it! Perfect. I think you're finally ready to know the truth. No, I'm not. Well, where should I start? Uh, oh, I get options in this. Uh, let's... Uh, stuff. Uh, yeah, I never know. Let's start with... Maybe I should introduce myself first. Yeah. My full name is Chief Deputy Garrett Gordon Gardengore. I'm an undercover <laughs> investigator for the juvenile <laughs> department. I took a position in the convent as a cover to observe Mother Superior. My assignment is to uncover evidence proving her educational methods violate youth protection laws. But Dr. Marcel is an even bigger fish to fry. Compared to him, Mother Superior is a saint. Well, Lily no. could hardly believe what she was hearing. But now it all made sense. Not that the Lily. The room, the listening devices, and the strained voices she kept hearing at night. It was all coming together to form a coherent overall to picture. Lily? Ah, oh, come on. Surely not. What did I want to say? There was something. Uh, crap. It's gone. You distracted me, Look, game. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Before you ask me any questions, let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's devilish invention. He apparently uses this stuffed rabbit to force his will on you. If we want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside you. You can also take on the other behavior blocks, just like you did the one stopping you from playing with fire. But it means you'll have to put yourself back in the I mean the, the the first challenge will be leaving the school grounds. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of the behavior block, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again fight the block while you're in a trance. We have to tackle the problem at its source. But don't I need Harvey? No. Let me finish. As I said, Dr. Marcel is a much bigger fish. The police has been after him for a while. He's suspected of using illegal therapy methods that rob children of their childhood. And the hypnosis he subjected you to confirms this suspicion. Okay, so what is Call. this? Call the police? Ha! Lily, 
I am the police. I can help you and get you to safety. We just have to get off this school ground somehow. I think the best way is to follow in your friend Edna's footsteps. But first, I want to answer any questions you have. So? No questions? Uh-uh. How disappointing. Oh well, okay. Let's go to the tree swing. So we don't want Harvey? I'm confused. 